Hey YouTube, it is Steph. I am back and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with my locks this year. In one of my last videos, I talked about um, some breakage or shedding that I had uh, stress induced um, and potentially diet induced as well. And um, I did some repairs and I recorded that um, and I will post that video up soon. But this is where my hair is currently at um, one month short of the three year mark. So if you can see, as usual, you cannot see my scalp. I like to keep it really fuzzy at the roots. I do not retwist my hair. I have not retwisted my hair since I was at the five month mark. And it is now, like I said, almost three years. Um, all I do to maintain my hair as far as um, the roots go is occasionally separate and um, that's been working out to be about every six months so only twice a year um, at least over the last year about year year and a half maybe um, works out to be about twice a year that I separate and you know that might not work for a lot of people um, I know my hair very well now. It is a fine texture. It looks really thick, thick, you know, how I have it, thankfully, because that's what I want. Extremely thick looking hair, because even if it's not thick, I want it to look thick. Um, because I never really had thick hair before, or at least I didn't think I did. I don't know if you can see. The contrast between my hair and my skin here because it's kind of blended into my my top actually let me like kind of do this thing or so you can see it a little better all right um it is growing it is growing not at a fast pace my hair has always been kind of a slow growing thing and I'm totally okay with that um the most important thing is that my hair is healthy and that it is thick and healthy, okay? <laughs> thick and healthy, yes, I want length. And I also started taking about three months ago, I started taking biotin. So I now take um, 10,000 10, micrograms of biotin daily and it's been almost three months now. Um, my hair has gotten even thicker. And I love, love, love that. So we'll see about the growth. Um, I think it probably is helping it grow. But of course, since I don't twist my hair, I don't maintain my hair at the roots really, other than the occasional separation, um, the length, the true length really isn't going to show. And, you know, I'm okay with that. My hair is growing out more so versus down. Um, I have been washing my hair once every one to two months. Um, and when I wash it, I use, what is it? Neutrogena tea gel shampoo. It's a brown shampoo and, um, it has a real like medicine smell. It's, it's meant for people with like scalp issues and, um, while I don't think I have any substantial scalp issues, I like how it feels on my scalp. I like how it makes my hair feel very clean. It can be a little bit stripping, so I use it in very small amounts and I dilute it heavily. So I'll put like a small dollop into a bottle, fill the rest of the bottle up with water, shake it up, 
and I'll use that to apply to my scalp. I'll massage it in really, really well. And then um, lather my hair up, get it wet in the shower, let it roll down, and I squeeze down my locks. Um, I will take that same bottle and refill it with the shower water as I'm washing my hair um, and just squeeze it all throughout and just shampoo my hair, you know, like normal. Um, and that tends to work for me. Um, if for some reason I feel like I need to wash my hair more often than the one to two month thing that I'm on now, I will just do a apple cider vinegar rinse. And I'm not talking about apple cider vinegar and baking soda. No, I'm not. I have never done that to my hair. Um, not to say I wouldn't do it, but I haven't done it yet. What I'm talking about is just diluting apple cider vinegar with the mother and um, with heavily with water, diluting it heavily with water and spraying it in my hair, massaging it into my scalp and into my hair and then getting in the shower and rinsing it out. Um, so that's what I'll do in between shampoos if I feel like I need something, if I feel like my hair is dirty for whatever reason. So that turns out, that equals out to me really just using shampoo like five or six times, six or so times a year. And then the other washes will be the apple cider vinegar rinses. Um, what else can I tell y'all? I have tried out a few more styles over the last few months. Um, I have done a braid out. It was kind of cute, but I didn't like how it made my hair look thinner, you know, because of braiding it down. I didn't braid very tight at all, but when I took it out, it just, I felt like it looked flat. Um, it had some wave to it. A couple of days in it started to look better because you know of course I would lightly moisturize and my hair would plump up a little more um, this is a result of an old knot out lock knot out um, I tried to get the curls out after I wore the well, actually I wore the knots for about 10 days and I took the knots down and I wore the curls for another 10 days and um, they started to get kind of stale looking, so I wanted to get the curls out, spritz water, squeeze, 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 and um, as you can see, the texture isn't completely gone, but I'm okay with it not being completely gone. You know, I guess it won't completely go out or completely get straight until I um, completely submerge my, submerge my hair under water or wash it. And um, I've got another, I don't know, week or two before I decide to do that. And I actually kind of like it with a little bit of the wave to it. You know, it's that natural, like, I just woke up like this, look. <laughs> um, what else can I tell y'all? I'm loving my hair. Like, there's nothing else to say other than I'm loving it. You know, I feel very beautiful and maybe if you guys want me to I will make a whole separate video about that um but you know I'm feeling confident in my hair I loved it since the very 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 beginning I don't really have an urge to cover my hair up I did buy a wig one time and I wore the wig I've worn the wig maybe twice um for a few hours now that my hair is getting longer it's harder to put my hair under a wig and it be comfortable at all. Like, you know, it's kind of painful. Um, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As you can see, I got cut off. But I wanted to come back and say thanks for all my subscribers for still sticking around, listening to what I have to say. Thank you to my new subscribers. I see you. And stay tuned for my three-year update coming up next month. Um, so take care, guys, and Merry Christmas.